Hey, Ryan Williamson here with Sourwood Farm. I am working in the bee yard this evening and remember the colony that I took a queen out to sell earlier today. And it's a five, well, I should say a 10 frame medium colony. And I am going, I just dropped a queen cell in. Look how excited they are. They're fanning all around her. Let's see what they do about a virgin queen over here. Oh yeah, they're liking that too. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do here is hedge my bets on mating success. And I'll just very carefully pry these frames apart. And got a divider board, <clears throat> homemade gizmo here. It's got little ears. I'll just slide that down in. Oh, didn't pry far enough. There we go. <clears throat> and it goes. Boom, boom. We just made a split. And this virgin here just emerged. So I'm thinking we could probably direct release her safely. These bees are so excited to have a queen. Look at that. I'm doing this without smoke. Evening time. Maybe I should put my veil on. The entrance for this colony has been on, on this side, so I'm actually kind of thinking I'm going to let them cross over to her more. I should have painted her back to make finding her later easier. since she's been so chill. I think I am going to mark the back. Not sure exactly how to do that in film at the same time. I'm very carefully holding her just like that. Hold the camera this way. No idea if you can see or not. Just popping into my chest. Hold her while she dries. <laughs> they are so excited about this ball in the queen cage, even. This is the part about beekeeping I just love. Just seeing how the bees react to different things and then acting based on that. If they weren't fanning like this, I would not be introducing this queen directly like I am. Just need a little more time for the paint to dry. She just hatched, so she didn't have that many pheromones, and yet they're, they're this excited about her. Virgins often do this when you introduce them, they'll punch their backs a little bit. I think it's a bit slightly defensive, but unsure about it. These are pretty excited about her. These are feeding her. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna close this up, but she's on the cage. Wait for her to get relaxed, and then she'll walk down in. I probably. Let's well, be a fun experiment. So we have a introducing a Mark Virgin on this side and Queen Cell over here, which they were so excited about the Queen Cell. But you know what? Now that there's an actual virgin, they're more excited about her. Slightly stronger pheromones, I guess. I spilled a little honey on the cage. I think she's trying to get a little, a little drink of that. Let me get her down. Come on. doubt that they like her so while we're waiting for that I'm gonna go in the bee yard and try to find a block of wood I want to put a block in, in between the two sides so that the colony now will have two different entrances on either end there's a bush in front which I actually have we think would be a problem but I've found that that really can help Queens mating I think when they come back they uh, they get to know who they are in relation to the bush so evening time sunset my favorite time to be in the bee yard everything's quiet I'm walking around looking for one little piece of wood ah no nope, that one's too wide this one's a little short got a lot to clean up This one might work. Let's see if this is. This gives about a two inch entrance. I'd like it to be a little bit shorter. A piece of fabric. I love the propolis on here. This will be our inner cover. This block in. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to use the hive tool. So after I stop the video, well, maybe I can do it. Let's lift it up. Slide that block in. Now, boom, boom. The divider board right here. It's front to back, floor to ceiling. Two entrances now. Queen cell on this side, virgin over here. There she is. Put the cage away. Should have had a smoker going in case something went south, but oh well. I wanted her to go down in the before I put this inner cover on. Come on down. There you go. Go find some honey. Thanks. Thanks for watching and hope that was amusing, if anything, and maybe useful. Catch y'all later.